What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here and moving on to the next concept in calculus. We're now going to talk about differentiability and this is a concept we're going to talk about over the next couple of videos. Going to be doing a bunch of examples. In this video it's going to be more so an overview to explain the concept and what we mean when we say differentiability. And to start this video off I want to do a quick review of what we've covered so far. So what we've mentioned is that the derivative of f of x at an x value of a, now a short form for this, we've shown it as f of prime a, the derivative of f of x at an x value of a is what? It's basically the value of this limit here. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, the difference quotient. Right, the definition of a derivative. The derivative of a function at an x value of a is the value of this limit here. So when we talk about differentiability, what we're going to be looking at is if the derivative of a function at a specific x value exists or not. Okay, so for differentiability, we can rewrite this as the derivative of f of x at an x value of a or f of prime a exists if this limit here exists. So to check if a function is differentiable at a certain x value, all we have to do is check if this limit exists. And if it doesn't exist, then it means the function isn't differentiable at that point. And we're going to be running into a lot of cases, I'm going to be doing a bunch of cases over the next couple of videos, where the derivative for certain functions isn't going to exist at certain x values. And just to give you a heads up, some cases we'll be covering is uh, stuff like corners. So at that x value right there, the derivative isn't going to exist. So a good example of that is the absolute value function. And we're going to show you why with this definition of a derivative, why the derivative doesn't exist at that, uh, at that corner. We're going to be dealing with um, a case called cusps, which is kind of like a corner, except uh, it's more of like a curve going to that corner instead of straight lines. So that's going to be a case where the derivative won't exist. Another case we'll run into is vertical tangents where at that point there, the derivative won't exist. We'll also cover discontinuous functions, but remember there's different types of discontinuity. There's infinite discontinuity, where there's a vertical tangent. There's removable or point discontinuity when a function as a whole. And then there's also jump discontinuity. So we'll be showing why a derivative doesn't exist for all three of those cases. We'll also cover certain piecewise functions where you can have a piecewise function, it could be continuous, but at that continuous meeting point, the derivative can still not exist. So a bunch of cases we're going to be covering, and I'm going to have a separate video for uh, each of those. And based on those cases, we're going to be showing that this limit here basically doesn't exist. Now, there's different ways to show that this limit doesn't exist. We're going to be running into different ways that it doesn't exist. So a couple of ways is um, some cases f of a isn't going to exist. So this part here, the function isn't even going to be defined at that x value that we're looking at. And if f of a doesn't exist, if this part doesn't exist here, then it's obvious that that whole limit isn't going to exist. Another case is if um, this limit here we're going to see that sometimes it can approach plus or minus infinity. So it's not going to approach a certain value, a certain number. It could approach plus or minus infinity. And so that's going to be a case where the derivative doesn't exist at uh, that certain x value. Uh, another case is going to be if the limit as h approaches 0 from the negative side of f of a plus h 
minus f of a all over h isn't going to equal the limit as h approaches 0 from the positive side. So remember when we discussed limits, we mentioned in order for a limit to exist, it has to approach that same value from both sides. And if it's approaching different values from both sides, then that overall limit isn't going to exist. So I just wanted to give you a heads up what we're going to be covering. So a couple of cases where this limit won't exist, and they're going to relate to those cases that I drew out. And that's what we're going to be covering in the next couple of videos, just going through cases where a function isn't differentiable or the derivative doesn't exist at a certain x value.